All right, guys. This is April 2nd, and I'm in Lincoln, Illinois. I'm about 25 miles north of Springfield, Illinois, in central Illinois, and I'm going to do me a little arrowhead hunting. So this road goes down to Salt Creek, and I went over it. I just happened to find this road. I was going to pull up into the cemetery and jump off the side into, into the creek and walk it. It's a pretty good size. And it looks shallow. Uh, I've seen some, uh, it might be sandbars, it might be nothing but mud, who's, who's to say? But I'm also going to go look for some shrooms. Uh, went back and I was going to hunt that creek a little farther down in Collinsville. And I forgot my, forgot the card. So I didn't get no footage. I brought the camera but didn't have the card. Oh, I'm an idiot. And... Oh, I was walking down in there, found three shrooms that day. This was last, um, I believe it was Wednesday. I know, no, it was Thursday night. And I walked down in there and there was a homeless guy sleeping on the ground. I mean, this was in between Highway 57 and the Mississippi River, you know, at Collinsville. And I just turned around and got out of there. I don't know if he was hiding or sleeping or or faking it's hard to say but I know they have a one area that Collinsville is not very good so all right you can see how this is going down going down to the river I'll get back with you if I find something all right <clears throat> this is a mess check this out see all these little trees look like they was like little maples or something the whole field I jumped down across the where the river was and you can see all the debris out in the field apparently this was all woods or had grown up and they just pushed it all off but I'm gonna jump down in here this is a mess down in here this side of the di of the road that I was on was dropped down 30 feet the other side drops down about five feet I should have got a picture of it. I showed you guys. I'll get back with you. And this is what I get for my time. A dried up old riverbed. Full of leaves. So, dang it. Look at them bluffs up there though. This, there's probably some good arrowheads up there. I'm gonna go look. I would uh, should have brought my wiggle pick. It's in the car, but I left it. Hopefully I'll find some shrooms anyway. We'll get back with you. All right, back up on the road. This is what I was talking about when this looks 30 feet down there. Looks like rocks from up here. Ain't nothing but leaves and an old riverbed it looks like. Then you got the road that comes through. Then you got the other side that is like right there. I don't know, I might be 10 feet above it. I'd hate to walk down in that. I think I'd fall through. Man, what a difference. All right, so there's the bluff line. I'm gonna go walk that. See if I can't find some shrooms or a good place to dig. All right, I'm at the top of the hill. And way down there, it's the top of that bank for that dry riverbed. And the cemetery, looks like I could have drove right back up here, but I don't see any flint I'm looking through this. Looks like this is where they throw all their excess. Oh, and a nice looking shell, look at that. Crazy looking thing. So, I'll get back with you. Alright guys, it's day two of my Lincoln, Illinois adventure and this time I am at a, a creek that is that runs water instead of one that's all logged up and jammed up and clogged up is what I was thinking clogged up and so it is 449 and I'm taking everybody's favorite digging tool 
any die hard artifact hunter with me and uh, hopefully I'll be able to turn this thing back on I hope they don't pick up my artifacts on that rock bar down there what in the world they're hanging out underneath the, the overhang there for a tree that comes out it was sitting back down in there. Look at this water. This is more like it. I wish I'd have took my time to come here yesterday. This is a public state park right here. Loving it. All right, check this out. I'm on this trail that runs next to the creek. It's got rock bars. They're all on the other side. I got one coming down up here. see the whiteness of it and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna have to get wet today to, to walk this creek properly check that out looks like there's a beaver around here somewhere did I tell you about a beaver being around somewhere I don't know might be a possum might be a crazy possum in the woods. So oh, look at that mushroom. I don't know if that's the damn spot, but there's a lot of limbs piled up right there. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see if they've been chewed or not. A lot of roots. I don't know. But check this out. That's why I turned it on. That's probably four feet above the water line. Sticking out. Beaver done chewed her off. It must have been when the water level was up that high because it's running pretty good. You can see I'm headed down there. I'm gonna get over there sometime. Walk it back. I don't know. All right, check out this beautiful rock bar. This is the one on the bend I was getting trying to get to, and it looked like cattle have been here. There's so many footprints. So I highly doubt I find something today, but it's good just to get out and chase the dream, and you never know. You just never know what somebody will leave. So, I'll get back with you. If not, y'all have a good night. <laughs> keep going. I brought the wiggle pick. I've seen some humps over here on this side. So, I'm going to hit them on the way back. Well, this is me signing out. I don't think I'm going to do any more hunting here. In uh, Lincoln County. Union County. And I couldn't get across that creek. It's deep, man. I crossed it once, and I should have went back. But I, I walked to the road. There's the bridge. And I gotta walk. Oh. Sorry about that. There's a levee. The mound I seen on the other side was a levee. So. But... I gotta walk all the way back to the car. Feel sorry for me. We'll see you later.